Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! Hi guys! This video is the continuation of our Introduction to Pattern Recognition video, okay? So, in this video, I'll be answering the quiz na nasa video na yun. Meron dapat link sa upper right corner ng inyong screen na mag appear You can click on that if hindi nyo pa yun napapanood. I suggest that you watch that one first before watching this video. So, just a quick review. Remember, we need to recognize yung elements na meron tayo sa figures. And then, kung nagbabago ba yung size or number nito, and if may pattern ba yung pagbabagong yun. In the same way, to check na natin if may movements and if may pattern ba yung movements na yun. We will then apply that in identifying ko anong ating missing figure. So, for number one, we have this set of figures. Meron tayong dalawang elements. Ano yung, ano yung elements na yun? We have this shaded rectangle and this unshaded square, okay? So, anong pattern for this shaded triangle? Basically, nagpapalit siya ng position. Nasa taas, and then nasa baba, nasa taas, and nasa baba. So, we expect na sa ating sagot, ang shaded rectangle ay nasa taas. So, sure na tayo hindi letter D ang sagot. How about this square? So we can see na nadadagdagan ng isang square sa ibang corner ng figure natin. Okay? So since dito, dito tayo hindi nagdagdag, ina-expect natin na sa next nating figure meron tayo madadagdag dito na square. So ang magiging itsura ay may square tayo sa four corners. Our answer is letter A. Alright. For number 2 naman, ilang elements meron tayo? Dalawa ulit. This one and this one. So, titignan natin kung anong pattern ng ating diamond. So, from here or here, nalipat siya sa baba. And then, from here, nalipat siya dito. And then, from here, napunta naman siya sa taas. So, we can see na yung pattern niya is pag ganito. So, saan natin next i-expect ang ating diamond? Dito, right? Okay. How about yung ating line? So, from here, napunta siya dito. So, ano yung angle ng rotation niya? It's approximately, imagine here, meron kang 90 plus half of 90. So, 90 plus 45, meron tayong 135 degrees. Okay? Kasi from here, another 135 degrees. And then from here, another 125 degrees. So since nandito yung line natin, sa next figure, i-expect natin na from here, mag-rotate siya ng 135 degrees. Okay, take note yung direction ng rotation na this is clockwise. Okay? So mapupunta siya dito. So our answer should be letter C. How about for number 3? Meron tayong 4 elements. Let's say, Check muna natin itong square. So, from this corner, napunta siya sa lower left corner. And then, sa lower right corner. Then, upper left corner. Okay, so nakikita nyo, ito yung pattern ng change in position ng ating square. So, ina-expect natin na sa next figure, nandito dapat siya. Okay, now let's compare this to our choices. Alam natin hindi letter A. Kasi wala dito yung square. Possibly B. Hindi rin letter C. And hindi rin letter D. So actually, dito pa lang, masasagot na natin that the answer is letter B. So for example, nahihirapan kayo i-figure out yung pattern ng ibang elements. We can just simply check or eliminate muna. So for example, dito, pwedeng may matira kang dalawang choices. Then you can just choose the best answer from there, if hindi nyo talaga ma-figure out yung pattern. For this problem, let's check muna kung ano yung pattern ng other figures natin. So, kung mapapansin nyo, may pattern ba individually itong straight line 
itong rectangle and itong shaded rectangle, actually wala. Pero, as a whole, and in relation to this one, meron. If you can notice, habang umiikot itong square, yung relative position nitong elements is na may maintain. What do I mean by that? Magkatapat itong square and unshaded na rectangle. Tinan nyo, pagdating dito, magkatapat din. Pagdating dito, magkatapat din. So, we can use that as the pattern. So, for example, sa choices mo, it so happens na meron ka mukha ng B, pero magkabaliktad itong white and black nating rectangle. Pwede mo siyang i-compare that way, okay? By checking. So, kaya important din na nag eliminate na tayo ng choices para mas madali sa atin makapili ng final answer. So, in the same way, itong line din, yung relative position niya is consistent. How about here sa number 4? Meron tayong tatlong element, tatlong circles na iba-iba yung, yung pagkakashade. Meron tayong itong fully shaded, meron tayong unshaded, or white lang siya, and then meron tayong gray na circle. So, since ito yung hinahanap natin, i-check natin itong tatlo for patterns. So, i-check na natin isa-isa. Let's start with the black circle. So, from here, bumaba siya diagonally. One step lang. And then, bumaba ulit siya another step diagonally. So, yung pattern natin is pag ganito yung ating dark circle or black circle. So, if andito siya, ina-expect natin na ang black circle natin sa figure na to will be one step diagonally pababa. So, saan ba yan dito? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So, 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3. That's letter C or D. Since letter C and letter D na lang ang ating choices, i-compare natin sila. We can see na pareho ang position ng white circle natin. So, actually, it is safe to assume na ito na yung tamang position ng white circle. And wag na tayo mag-bother i-check pa for pattern. Why? Para makasave ng time. So, now let's check for the gray one. From here, napunta siya. One step diagonally, pataas. And then, sa next figure, napunta ulit siya. One step up. Okay? Tapos pa-diagonal. If nandito ang ating gray circle, we expect na pagdating sa figure na to, one step up lang and diagonal ulit. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Ito, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 lang. So our final answer should be letter C. Okay, number 5. Napansin ko ang daming nagkamali or kung nakuha man nila ng tama, hindi nila alam kung bakit sila tama. Parang ganun. Um, if you guys don't know, meron akong Facebook group for college entrance test takers. Uh, ililink ko na lang dito. So, anyway, for number 5, okay, so again, first, recognize the elements. Ilang elements meron tayo dito? Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 na polygons, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 lines. So, that is 8 elements. Kapag i-compare natin lahat ng figures na to, lahat sila, May 8 elements at yung elements na yun ay consistent in terms of size and number. Pagdating naman sa position, nagbabago-bago ito. Pero actually, kahit isa-isahin nyo pa yan, mapapansin nyo na wala namang pattern. Nagbago yung position, pero walang pattern. So we can just simply ignore that. So since wala tayong mahanap na pattern, maliban sa consistent ang number of elements, we can just count the elements ng choices natin. So for letter A, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For letter B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And for D, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So dito pa lang, we can say that our answer should be letter B. Remember yung tip na sinabi ko sa previous video, na kapag it seems too random, first thing you need to do is just count the number of elements. So here, our answer is letter B.